Hi guys, it's Bodyguard again. So today I'm going to go on and talk about the game settings tab here. So this is going to be where you find your save files. You can just tap any of the save files and it will go on and tell you saved and it will save that to the file. To get back to this you just go say back out to there and hit load and you can go on select your save file there and you're right back where you were. If you go farther into it, we have the human settings. Infect chance is on 100 by default, and this is the chance that someone will get, anyone new that you spawn will get infected. So if you, by default, it's 100%. If someone gets bit or there's airborne infection, they're going to get infected. If you put it to 50, if you spawn a new civilian, there's a 50% chance they'll get infected. At the moment, everyone can get infected. Soldiers, police, everyone but SWAT with shields out, and medics. With medics being because they can cure themselves. We also have peace mode. Peace mode is specific for raiders here. When it's normal, no problem. When you turn off peace mode though, then they're hostile to civilians, they'll fight the police. You, get a, you start getting the actual action. Next, we have game settings. We have weather, which adds clouds and rain effect. We have destructible walls, which if you turn off, means the zombies won't be able to break through these walls, like right here. You know, they won't be able to break them at all. We have day-night mode, which I'll turn on here just to show. It'll slowly go into night and back to day, where you can see you can, it's slowly darkening. It's just kind of like street lights and flashlights out. Not all units have flashlights, like the Raiders, I do believe, do not have flashlights. It's just a little ball of light around them. We'll go back to human settings, put peace mode back on, and night mode will slowly get darker and darker. If we put some zombies in there, you'll see that they don't really show up there. So we'll go on and put that back off. Performance boost just turns off you know, some back some various settings to make it run better for you. And last we have zombie settings. Zombie settings seem to cause a lot of confusion here. So speed just controls how fast the zombies move. And we'll throw a few zombies here. And if we speed them up, you'll notice they move a lot faster. Slow them down. No, slow down. We have aggro range. That determines how aggressive they are. How far away they'll chase something. If we put that all the way down to like 50 here... They'll tend to ignore a lot of people. Like, you can see, they, they'll they ignore people from way far away. A little harder to see, considering, you know, they're kind of super fast, but you can see they don't really care right there. If you, if you go on and put that up, the farther up it is, the farther away they'll see someone and start charging. Infect range is even, is its own thing. If you turn on infect range, they don't have to bite someone to infect them. You'll see I turned it on, and now people all the way over here are infected. You zoom in, you can see them all bloodied up there. So, those are the three zombie settings there. Aggre just keep in mind, aggression range just makes them target people from farther and farther away. And infect range turns on an airborne infection around the zombies. With... With which, since it's the default infection rate of 100, people will get infected very fast. And that's all of the settings for now.